left my country because of war. Yeah, you ask me why you know, I leave my country. It was the conflict, tribal conflict. No, we can't do it. At the house, it's a drug thing. We can't do it. We can't do it. We can't do it. Tomorrow, I will be a woman who can have a story of success. I will build up a house. I feel great. Living life as a refugee is hard because when people make the decision to leave their home country because of displacement by factors like war and threats to their lives, they carry nothing more than the clothes on their bodies, leaving behind memories and livelihoods. Programs like giving refugees craft skills and entrepreneurship are important because they help to shift the refugees from states of vulnerability to being capable actors. This is Anne Mpanga, a refugee from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC. She is a refugee under Lusaka's Makeni Transit Refuge Center. Like all refugees whose stories you are about to hear, Anne had to make the difficult decision to leave what used to be her home in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, carrying nothing more than the clothes on her body. They said since I wasn't well, I wasn't supposed to go to the camp because the hospital isn't near. We stayed here for a year before they connected us to Caritas. They said Caritas wanted to help us. We were registered and we started the training. They trained us how to cook, baking cakes and scones, and how to start a business. Then they gave us money. 4,000 kwacha. They gave her 2,000 kwacha and I was also given 2,000 kwacha and we put it together. We used to roast fish on a brazier. That's when they said we needed a proper machine for this. That's how we were trained again on how to roast chicken fish and we bought that machine which is outside and we started the business. Days later, Caritas called us again and gave us extra money and we invested it in the business too. Then we thought roasting the meat just for our customers wasn't good enough. We then started to advertise our services. We started negotiating with those hosting kitchen parties to roast their chicken or fish products. From the time Caritas gave us the money, life has changed. We used to suffer. Now we can even manage to prepare breakfast for our children. This is the reason countries like Zambia, which host thousands of refugees, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR, and non-state actors like NGOs working to help refugees rebuild their lives have put in place programs aimed at helping refugees become resilient to conditions in the host country. 
So who can know who puts on over nine of a con, a life here up with the con. So on Saturdays, the chapel fin to nothing, so this the summer, not the primary fin, came to more fitting. So then when I like here enough men and a con, you know, Napano Pond, the Pond, Kerry. While in Congo, I never used to sell anything. So the life I came with from Congo is very different to the one I have now. My life has changed a lot for me. My business is doing very well because I work very hard according to the training Caritas gave us. That's why this business gives me good profit. The money we got has also helped me to improve this business. I also do some savings to keep my money. So na saving group fafine na naira ngafa da ibomfia na naira fafine na ngafa kubunta na kubisesa intakas. Paka kwa satani zokuri, kuri kata se paka kwa satani zoko, kwa sa ndara mayo sunda mambuzi, paka kwa sandara mazuri ma, ine na wazani na shito yoku tunga. Caritas helped us. It gave us money to keep goats and for agriculture. I told them I am a skilled tailor, so I will just buy clothing material because I don't know how to keep animals. They told me that it's okay. I can do what I know best. Then I saw that customers here are not so many. So I decided to open a grocery shop. I ordered groceries and stocked my shop. I started to get some profit. I even built a house. Then I went back to Caritas for more help and I was given some more money. I grew some crops and bought more materials for sewing and bit by bit I'm getting good profits. Okay, now business yandi, eu na resta kama sana ni Pantu eu, eu na sana mirira, na apuisha, eu na amba kono mbuko Na fika na muno, pela kuna mashini Na amba na yoku kwa mpanti na levi ni na kumino mashini na ili na yo Yo onse ya lishele Eu na sana mafuirisha ako, pela kuna mashini Na amba na mbuko kubida this is the business I have been doing all along until I came here. Caritas gave me a sewing machine because I left mine back home. When they gave me a sewing machine, I started sewing. Later, I bought another one from the profits I made. Whenever I made money, I would save it until I bought another one. I used to sew using my hands before Caritas gave me this machine. I was asked where my machine was and I told them that it was damaged when I was running away from conflicts at home. That's how I was registered and they brought me a machine. Business is very good. I plan to have five machines. One for buttons and one for patterns and decorations. Life will be better than now because now I just have one machine. Then I added mine. Life goes on well and I am teaching others on how to sue so that they also know what I am doing. Na nebo na kwata kwa wabu kusambili shia pila kini. Na nebo na kwa 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 kw
While most refugees in Zambia are in camps and resettlement sites in rural areas like Mantapala, Maheba, and Mayukwayukwa, there are lots of other refugees who have to live in urban centers like Lusaka mainly for health reasons. Urban refugees must negotiate complex social relations with family, friends, and the communities in which they are hosted in order to survive. Otambri Kateni knows this. He is a positive man. He believes when a human being is in a country like Zambia where there is peace, and if the person has hands, a brain and legs, there's nothing the person's minds can conceive that the person cannot do. Water has left behind his fears of what the future might be like after fleeing from a brutal ethnic war in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He is grateful to Caritas Czech Republic for setting him up for success with initial capital in his capture business. Sometimes if I want to wash my face, I used to, to ask something, they used to sweep, which was the first time. And then I try to get the information that I'm a refugee. Yeah, you ask me why you will I leave my country. It was the conflict, tribal conflict. It was very terrible. If I think it uh, will not be comfortable. They were helping people and going away. When we are happy, I see that in Zambia there is a, a peace. I asked for the refugee camp I went for the first time. When I used to complete my papers, um, I was arrested by the immigration. I went in uh, Kamwala, stayed there for 20 days, and they sent us to Maeba. When I sent us to Maeba, I came here because I didn't feel any way. I went to the hospital, they gave me a medical. After medical, I started to look for the life here. I was some close, my hands close, what I, I ran away with. I tried to sell it, I have something like 200. And I started to buy this, uh, this. If someone came, I buy three pieces. The pretty set will become uh, 10 pieces, 10, 10 pieces, 20 pieces. And then I asked a friend, oh no, there is an exhibition from Kabulonga. It's all day Saturday, every Saturday. I started to go there, I managed a bit for my, my life. And then someone came and said, oh, he said there is a Kalistas who can help the people. We didn't know. Daddy, if you are doing the art, they can support you. Yeah, and I went to meet Mubanga. Uh, uh, she put me in the program. The first program we started with was uh, in uh, Kamala Saf. We learned how to do this and how to do this and that. And then the second program, I had the paper here. I said, no, no, they can support you if you're doing in your art, in plastic art, painting. It is a problem. Caritas helped us. They gave us some money. It was about uh, the pin. Uh, you know, we can buy material and then we can do it separately. And then we buy. Then we must show also people that uh, the Zambian are kept, are kept us very, very nice. They give us all the opportunity to live a normal life. Women refugees like Providence Buingwa, a refugee from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, are always at greater risk of torture, violence or intimidation in their countries of origin, during flight across borders, in refugee camps or detention and during resettlement. Because of this, it is possible that humanitarian professionals working with women refugees like Providence can overly focus on the trauma story of the refugees to the neglect of the enormous strength of refugees to be resilient. With this, Providence runs a successful garden at Mayukoyuko Refuge Resettlement Center and now she can think about the future like other human beings living in a world where it is free and right to hope for a better world. I'm from Congo. 
I left Congo 204. I left my country because of war. There was no peace. People were killing each other. And uh, from that time, my parents were killed. That's how we fled from Congo. Looking a country which can have a peace, that's how we found Zambia. And Zambia really is a peaceful country. Uh, our country had no peace. But from background, we used to hear Zambia is being a peaceful country and is a Christian nation. So whoever who was coming here and coming back to our country was saying that Zambia is good. So everyone at the time we are learning was heading to Zambia. Trans from our country, they use this lake. To, and whoever used to come out of the lake immediately to Zambia. So we are following friends who were coming here seeking that peace. Okay, we were worried of where are we going to stay, how are we going to live, but immediately when we came in, people were helping us, telling us there's a UN who can help you. That's how we were directed to Home Affairs and good enough they welcomed us, they gave us some papers and they gave us where to settle, that's how they gave us a study to come in Mayopayopa. And at the time we arrived here, it was not easy. We were given some things to use, like a, a small piece of land where we can put our settlement and uh, some equipments like hose and uh, pots, such things. But later, Caritas came in to help, because uh, that was not enough. Yes, we was give, everyone was given a piece of land, but where to start to? So they could go around checking of what you can. That's how they gave us. They gave us a training so that everyone can ch choose on her own or his own what is capable of doing. I came up with the idea of a garden and they promised to support me. They gave me a little support, but of which has helped me at least in my livelihood to, to be like this. At least I'm able to find something to eat, to dress my children. Much better, I'm trying. From the time I thought of a garden, I asked for a land and they gave me this piece of land which is nearby water. I started a, a small garden, it was that side and it could do better. They could follow us visiting, Caritas giving us trainings and at least wherever you are failing, like giving us the treatment of these plants, then the first, the first harvest that I had it gave me another little capital which I have used to start a small shop there. At least in the morning I'm here within the garden. By the day, from 10 hours up to 16 to 17, I've got a small shop that I'm learning that side. I'm expecting to be a great woman. Because <laughs> I'm a single mother. I've got six children that I'm taking care of. Two are mine, four are just often that I came with. But uh, as I see life the way it goes, I started from zero. I was given that capital and the knowledge. Actually, that knowledge that you have given me, it has helped me to go further. Day by the day, I'm seeing the future will be bright. At the time when I started, I could not have buying shoes for my children, but at least they could not go at school barefooted the way it used to be. At least eating. The way we eat, we used to eat, it's not the way we are eating today. I'm able even to buy like meat or other things that children could want. So I see that at least tomorrow I will be a woman can have a story of success. I've built up a house. At least I used to stay in this thirsty house, but now the roof at least can be seen from UNHCR. They are able to see my house. I feel great. Long after the guns have fallen silent in Angola, Timoth Soframento has chosen to remain in Zambia thanks to the country's strategic framework for the local integration, integration of former Angolan refugees in Zambia. Timoth Soframento is nearly 30 years old. He is resettled at Maheba Refugee Resettlement Center in Northwestern Province. Timoth arrived as a seven-year-old with his parents at the height of the civil war in Angola. 
He cannot go back home because he has no social connections to anyone in Angola. With help from Caritas Check, Temo has built himself a house. I had the problem with the food at home. The life was not so good. So I applied to Caritas for help. Uh, they really accepted my request. I was supported in 2019. Cultivated the soya beans out of the money which I was given. That was 3,000. The outcome was uh, 4,500. T21, I was cultivating cabbage, Chinese, and also uh, onion. Out of what I was doing, I was able to gain uh, 15,000 this year. In 15,000, my house seemed to be small, so I planned to build a house and also to continue with my production of gardening. So the house is, is in the process, it's not yet finished, and also I'm, I'm still planting tomato, uh, impua also, and the Irish potatoes I have in my garden. Uh, the plan which I had for the house, I sat it down, a 15,000 which I gained. Uh, I had problems. Uh, the relative and also myself, we were sick. So I used uh, 5,000 to solve the problems. And 10,000 went to the house. Such that capital seems to be down. The way I planned uh, didn't reach the price. So the prices were low on my plan, but when I went to buy the items for the house, I find that the prices were high. Such that uh, I want to continue with the agriculture, but the capital has shaked it to my side. Because of this, I can still have a chance to go out to the Caritas office to explain my views uh, so that they may help me again. And with a little knowledge I gain from Caritas, once they support me again, I can do my best. I gain a lot of knowledge. They taught me how to grow crops. They taught me how to run a business. All these are in my head. Fred Kaputa left the Democratic Republic of the Congo when an ethnic conflict between Katanga and Kasai raged. Through the difficult journey to Zambia, he carried with him an old treasured sewing machine, which he hoped could give him a soft landing in the new country. Fred is now a proud fashion and design entrepreneur. He has all the sewing machines he needs to make the designs come alive. His desire for a life in which he could fulfill his dream of being a major fashion and design entrepreneur was given a new lease of life thanks to a grant and entrepreneurship training from Caritas Czech Republic. <laughs> Zambia wakatupatia nafasi ya kuishi kama wakimbizi kama settlement matapara hapa mwatukuta leo mkukimbia kwetu nilikimbia na mashini kama moja tu hii hii mashini yote nikimbia na hii so tunafika hapa kukuku zambia tukafika mwantapara kukapatikana o enje 
kama kahitasi ikiwa pamoja na UNHCR I am a refugee from DRC. Together with others, I fled fierce fighting in DRC. The Zambian government received us really well. We were brought here at Matampala Refugee Resettlement Center. I arrived here with this one sewing machine. Caritas and UNHCR taught us entrepreneurial skills in agriculture and other skills. I asked to be helped with sewing machines that could do what the machine I came with from DRC could not do. Thanks Caritas and UN for giving me the capital to buy machines that can make all kinds of designs. Women refugees, even when settled in a host country, remain vulnerable to abuse unless they have means to sustain themselves. A story of success that will be memorable for years to come is that of Godens Masengesho, a single mother whose daughter was impregnated at a tender age of 14. Godens is a refugee from Burundi. She has innovated the production of a special porridge meal which has the potential to increase the dietary diversity of the Mantapala community and the country at large. Godens received business capital and entrepreneurship training from Caritas Czech Republic. <laughs> I call this porridge Maheba Nice Porridge. I use yellow maize, soya beans, millet, and groundnuts. This porridge is better than meat. This porridge prevents malnutrition in children. It helped my child, who had cerebral malaria, to become health again. I'm thinking of growing this business by forming a cooperative with more than five other people. I dream of supplying the whole of Zambia with this porridge. I also want to help other girls and refugee women to be empowered so they can stop doing small pieces of work. This porridge also improves the health and minds of older people. For a man who spent the first few years of his life doing all sorts of menial work for people in and around the Mayukoyuko Resettlement Center, when Caritas Czech Republic gave him five gods and taught him entrepreneurship skills, the doors were permanently opened to a life of self-reliance as a god farmer. Sevele Singagoi, 
a 55-year-old refugee from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, can only grow from strength to strength. I am a refugee from DRC. Caritas helped me to start this God business. I have been doing this business since 2019. My life has changed a lot since then. I started with five gods, which Caritas gave me. I supply gods to this community and beyond. I have now built myself a house. I'm grateful to Caritas for all the support they have given to refugees like myself. As a result, life here in Zambia is far much better than back home in the DRC. Staying true to the old adage, those who do not know must learn and those who've learned must teach. God love Chiema a mid-twenties fashion and design refugee entrepreneur dreams of opening a school to teach the vulnerable in society the fashion and design skills she has learned from the entrepreneurship training received from Caritas Czech Republic. <laughs> I was born here. Yes, I finished grade 12. In 2017, Caritas called us for interviews. Then I was selected. Then we started tailoring training. I had no idea whatsoever. They told us that after the training, they will give us start-up capital. When I was given the money, I bought one sewing machine. Then I started sewing different types of clothing. I don't make materials that fetch high prices. I make those that are affordable to buy. In that case, I sell the products first and get quick returns, like dresses for children. They also taught us entrepreneurship. We learned how to make profit. I use the fair chart we were taught about. When I make 100 dresses, I sell them between 20 and 25 kwacha. Last month in October, I made dresses with Zambian national colors with my young sisters who are now my students. My friends were selling them at 100 kwacha but I sold mine at 35 and 40 kwacha so that I have high sales volume. I raised 4,000 kwacha. Someone who bought backpacks from me 
asked me how much I can charge them if they made an order. We agreed at 12 kwacha 50 ngwe and they made an order for 200 bags. For this, I truly thank Caritas so much. I have bought 11 sewing machines. My plan is to start a tailoring college when I buy my own piece of land. From there, I will build a training center and all these sewing machines will go there. And person out there, what in a penny could to eat two hundred. So, Pali, if we have a caritas, mamma's school, when I intend Zilam and Ningichi, my Ning, since I have a name, I can be cause, um, my machines are good. I am being a good almost yearly living. Concalan and drama cause in drama says, Master Me, Pani, the good yearly living. Yearly living, my machines here, Jam. Nipanga plan yo segula like in Sigulika school. Nikagula land young and full of land for ten miles to jump. End of viewing. So if no gula, I am not my peer my instrument. Nika stay Jamaji, Nipanins up and a plan manja with the mangi. Then in Kamanga Vija so. In Kamanga school, Raj. My machines are near the language. Because refugees are hosted not only by the government of the Republic of Zambia, but more importantly, by the local communities surrounding refugee camps and resettlement centers, it is important that people in the communities around the refugee communities equally benefit from opportunities given to refugees by Caritas Czech Republic. This is the reason Joseph Mumba, a local resident of a community near Mantapala Refugee Resettlement Center, was given startup capital and entrepreneurship training to start a garage business. That's what I was planning to do. My sister called me, the one who informed me that no, there is this program. And for sure, I sacrificed myself there going to see my sister. And uh, my sister went there to get for me a form. And that's when. To check on the form, there's even the, the course that I was looking for. Mm. Uh, after that, went for the interviews again, my name was picked. I was called again for, for the workshop before going to school. Uh, after that, we went to school there, we started the learning. Uh, when I came back, before starting a business, uh, uh, we had a workshop actually for entrepreneurship. As this, actually, even at school, we are doing the entrepreneurship after after learning the the auto body. We are linking up on the same class with my friend. Different courses. We are using the same class doing entrepreneurship, computer, mm -hmm. even mathematics, trade, anything. But after learning entrepreneurship, that's when I came to know how to run the business, how to save the money. Yeah, I learned more about uh, about the same. Yeah, after that, uh, actually a week later, I was given 5,000 from Calitas, yeah, how to start business. And that 5,000, actually, uh, I had my brother from uh, Mwenlunga, I called him that, no, I have this money now, there's something that I want to buy which can help me uh, in, uh, in family and my blow. Uh, added on 5,000, sent for me again 3,000, meaning 8,000. And that 8,000, I, I bought a compressor machine uh, before opening the workshop. I rushed on uh, buying compressor machine, even a two box for the materials that I'll be using uh, on the workshop. Uh, from there, I opened the workshop. Uh, I called my friend uh, who were, whom we were together at school. They came here, where they were three. Uh, minus knowing that uh, they are crooks, but we were working together properly. After me getting back home to sleep with them, they were remaining at the garage sleeping there. So they came to store all my, my, my properties. But uh, from there, I never give up. I started the. Uh, uh, looking for money, piece of work. I bought uh, the small tools, 
-hmm. just like that. And that's when I had a piece of work. I was given one vehicle to straighten it and uh, to bring it in, uh, into contour. And that's when I, I did that. I raised money, five thousand again. And that one vehicle, I, uh, I came to, to buy the two box. Because complex, I, the price was very high. I failed to, to buy. There, I shifted from there. I came here. That's when we we started working from here with my friends. Mm -hmm. there, those who are passing, we have mechanics here, mm -hmm. auto body. So everything, even the electrician we have here. Mm -hmm. So that's what uh, it is.